Welcome to my channel. This is Sandy, and I am just having a play today. I am working with my different dilution sprays, ink sprays, and making some backgrounds. I plan on using these, cut, cutting them into tags and um, different embellishments to put into my junk journals. And I will kind of show you all a demonstration here of what I've been doing. So let me show you how I am having a little play today. These were some of the ones I showed you just a few minutes ago. Let me show you how I create them. So I have these sprays from Dilusions. Can you see that? Let's see here. There we go. Dilusions ink sprays. And I am using just some mixed media. This is from Hobby Lobby, I believe. It's, it's not super heavy. It's decent weight. And then I just do a little spritz of water. Just kind of let the water land over the paper. And then I just take, this one is called Mushy Peas. Just give it a little spray here. And you want to put a lot down. And then I'm mixing it with this lemon zest. And the way that these ink sprays work is any of the blues and greens and this lemon zest you can mix together. But then, um, and then any of the pinks and the yellows and oranges you can mix together. That one's clogged, so let me unclog that one here in a minute. So I'm just having a little play. And then what I like to do is take um, another piece of paper and put it on top to kind of sop up some of the extra. And kind of push it down. that the ink will transfer from one page to the next. And I have just put parchment paper down. I found that parchment paper is a good protective surface to use. And I like to wear a glove because this ink, it'll get stuck on your hands, but, um, and it'll come off, but sometimes it might take a day or two before you can get it completely off. So I transferred it over to this, and then uh, use a paper towel to sop up some of the extra. And just look how pretty those colors blended together. I was kind of going for a, a spring cut grass, yellow flower kind of look. So then I just need to let these dry and then I can cut them up. I can do whatever I want with them. And it's as simple as that. Um, yeah, these sprays, you can find them at scrapbook.com. You can find them on Amazon, um, rangerinc.com, lots of different places. And they're around, I want to say $3 a bottle. And a bottle will last you a long time, you can see. I'm starting to get low on mine, and that's because I've used them for a long, long time. But I just love the colors and how they blend together, and it's that easy just to play around with them. And these papers have dried now, and this is, I just used some uh, gesso on this, and I just wanted to kind of put it down as a foundation, and then play around with some 
uh, paints or some inks. Um, so that one's just your basic you know, layer of uh, gesso. And then on this one, I took a stencil. Let me show you this stencil. So I took this stencil right here and then um, laid it down and then pushed the gesso through it. So I think I'll add some color to that. <clears throat> Turn that into a tag or something. And then on this one, I used actually modeling paste and I took another stencil and put that through. So this is actually raised where this is just kind of a smooth, but I like this. And then I'm gonna add some color to it and turn these into tags. Wanted to give you an update on the spray inking I've been doing. So I've turned some of them into tags. And then I've also been using a gel medium and putting these patterns on top of some of these pages. And the gel medium, it's really cool. Somehow the ink, it soaks up the ink, the gel medium does. So it doesn't cover up the color underneath. I just love it. Love, love, love. So much fun. So I'll probably make these into, you know, smaller tags or I don't know what I'll do with them. But I'm having tons of fun this weekend. <laughs>